guys, Trent here, 4 by 4 Works in McKinney, Texas. I'm at my house. Um, we're doing a review on the Amos, the Omeus speaker system that just arrived um, from Amazon. I placed the order a couple of days ago. They said that it would arrive in a couple of weeks, and it only came in a couple of days. So right off the bat, very awesome delivery time. Uh, everything looks good. We're going to bust into them and give them a little bit of a test. All right, we've got everything out of the box. Here's the unit itself. It's actually pretty decent size and it's weighty. It's got a sticker on the back that says make sure you seal it up when using it in the water, which is a good sign because it also comes with this floaty thing. We've got a fork here for scale. So you can kind of see it's just about the size of a fork. It also comes with um, an adapter cable and a USB cable for charging and um, a support card as well as instruction manual. And I also purchased separately this handlebar mount clamp. And I actually bought two of everything because they advertise an ability to sync with each other and like I said I purchased this to mount on my four-wheeler while I am out on the trails. 4x4works.com is an off-road shop we build trucks and jeeps and SUVs and I also personally enjoy riding my four-wheeler. So we're gonna put this on the four-wheeler and give her a shot. Okay we're at the off-road event been the speakers on for a while I've got to say I'm disappointed in the battery life one dies a lot earlier than the other and it messes it up um, it plays for a couple hours pretty strong volume isn't the best but it's okay for for like 30 bucks a piece I don't know what the battery life should be like but I kind of felt like it would last a little bit longer second mud event is done and the speakers actually did really good battery life was great these mounts right here hold up really darn good. The blue was shaking all over the place. They did go fully underwater, so they are waterproof as long as you got this little area sealed up so the water doesn't get in your stuff. The battery life isn't too bad um, for what, what they are. They're small speakers. They're only like 30 bucks plus tax, so you can't really expect the world out of them, but they do last a pretty long time. They sync. You can skip tracks. You can pause it with this. You can turn them both on and off. So I'd say all in all, it was it was pretty good performance. Uh, when you got them cranked up, the they only last like five or six hours, uh, but that's five or six hours worth uh, worth music for under a hundred bucks. So I'd say all in all, they did pretty good. I'm really happy with I'm really happy with them. I might get another set uh, just so when these die, I can swap them out and then charge them while I'm using the other ones uh, because they're so inexpensive. And I, they make a bigger version too. I might get that and shoot another video. So thanks thanks y'all for watching. I would say that the, uh, the speakers did really well. Good speaker system. Okay, after every bit, I clean off the four-wheeler or Jeep or truck or whatever it is that we do. Um, again, this is Trent with 4x4works.com. Um, we're testing the Omeus speaker system. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyways, so they've taken a beating. They still work. I can't sync my phone to the speakers and shoot a video at the same time I shoot these videos on my phone so unfortunately I can't show you them playing but I am going to pressure wash them in front of you to clean them off and see if they still work see how they stick up to the, the name Here's the pressure washer. And it fell. I pick it up. Hold on. Kind of expected it to fall because I'm an idiot, but let's give it another shot. Here is the warning label that says I didn't take it off. Remember to seal up your USB auxiliary port, which is that, and I made sure to seal it up. And the light's on, so the light is on, and they're synced. 
you can see that they're synced. The light is on and they're synced. So they are working. I just can't play them because I'm shooting this video. But they are working. I'm pressure washing them. That's one front one bad. And I think it just lost one second. To be continued. Okay, so when I lost the pressure washer, which is kind of my fault, I got the hose tangled up. The speakers kicked right back on. They were a little bit muffled because they're covered in water, but they work. So I put them on my truck and I'm going to listen to music while I finish washing up my four wheeler.